This channel is for adults and not for kids. Hey guys, thanks for stopping back by. So today I've got something cool to show you. It is a Cthulhu miniature that I was painting. And that's kind of why my fingers had green paint on them <laughs> a couple videos ago. Um, I completed him last night and I wanted to show him off to you guys today. So this is a game piece from the um, Cthulhu RPG called Cthulhu Wars. Um, I have never played that game, um, but I do really dig the monster miniatures um, that coincide with that game. Um, I found this one on eBay, I think, for like 25 to 30 bucks, somewhere around there. And, um, yeah, I snatched it up. I thought that was really cool. Anyway, I've had him for a long time, for a couple years now. And I, it was one of those things that I was going to get around to painting, but I never did. Um, so over the last few days, I've painted him up and I wanted to show him off to you guys. Uh, when you get him, he, he's like that. He's like that super soft avocado green color. Um, so yeah, let's take a look. Um, so it's cool. He's on the edge of a, like a cliff. I tried to make it all wet and slippery looking. Uh, a lot of moss and, and I guess algae, just green stuff on the rocks. And that's the, that's the ocean crashing, crashing on the rocks. Um, <laughs> I did that thing that I always tell myself not to do where after I painted it, I actually went online and I looked at other people that painted their miniatures. And then I started getting down on myself. <laughs> um, I, I hate it when I do that. I always tell myself, don't compare your shit to other people's shit. Just, you know, be the best you that you can be. Don't try and compare your shit to other people because they've got their insecurities too. So I like my paint job. Um, I did see a couple online that I thought they had good ideas. Um, but I, I do like the way mine turned out. I like more of a darker toned uh, Cthulhu. Um, the ones that I saw online that were really nice had um, brighter colors. And I just don't see Cthulhu as being very brightly lit. I just imagine it as this dark elder god thing anyway um i used like six different greens on this thing and his tentacles are a lighter green but it might be so subtle that it just kind of blends in with the rest of him but the ones I saw online, they painted their tentacles purple and um, they did a really good job, but I, I just didn't like the purple. There you go, you can kind of see the green on his tentacles is a little lighter than uh, the rest of him. All those cool muscle striations. Do you guys ever do that? Do you guys ever after you complete something, a model or a, 
something? Do you then see other people's work and and sort of second guess yourself? I hate it when I do that. I was going online to see other people's paint jobs to kind of get a an idea of how to attack this thing. And I didn't really see anybody's that I liked, so I I went at it the way I wanted to. And then afterwards, like an idiot, I went back online and um, I found some other paint jobs that I hadn't seen the first time. And they were, there were some really nice ones. I do like the way his head turned out, how it's, I have it darker in those creases. Anyway, I am happy with the way he turned out. Anyway, I just wanted to show that piece off. You can find these on eBay or Mercari or um, there's lots of different places you can find this. And it goes for about 25, 30 bucks. And from the bottom of the base to the top of his wings is probably about, I don't know, six and a half to seven inches tall. And it's a really cool little Cthulhu. Thor is asleep. It's Saturday, which means he got his two cheeseburgers. So he is knocked out. Anyway, I wanted to check in, say hi, and show this little piece off to you guys, and I will be back with some more monster goodness very soon. Happy Halloween.